I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I weren't feeling too good. Nothing definite. Just something. Not right. So I was off today anyway. Day and Lou for that Saturday. So I went to see the GP. He's sending me for tests. I hope it's not... No, it couldn't be. Not me. God, no. There were so many people in the clinic. I found myself thinking, are they all here with... And I thought, no, they can't be. And I don't even know if I am. But the doctor must think I might be. And since I'm here, I suppose all these people think so too. I don't like that. What if I saw someone? Someone saw me that I know. What would they think? Be sensible. They'd think I'm here for a test. Just a test. And if it shows up something, then we'll deal with it. Science has come a long way. You mean I've got... No, I can't have. God wouldn't. I mean, no. Not me. So, we sit down and we plan. What's likely to happen? Timescales. Consequences. It's how I cope. Lists. Plans and lists. We stay calm and we make lists. Man. What have I done to deserve this? How much shit do you have to do to build up this much bad karma? Was it even this life? He says I have a good prognosis. I could live a long time. I say, how do you know that? When it is your time, then it is your time. I might walk out of here beneath a bus. You don't know. All this maybe years is rubbish. No one knows. It's like waiting for the other shoe to drop. There's a bomb inside of you waiting to explode. You can't even trust your own cells. It makes me feel really twitchy. All this science stuff... I need a walk. I need my trees. One minute you're up. It's under control and it's all going to be fine. And the next you're thinking, bloody hell, it's real. I've got... I can't even say it. I went to church and they were all over me. Can we pray? Can we pray? And I just wanted to say, go away. I don't even know if I believe anymore. They say, how are you? I say, I am okay. I am okay. For now, I am okay. And I think soon for them, if I keep saying okay, the novelty will wear off. There's nothing to see. No rash, no plaster cast. In time, they will find someone else to be the target for their concern. For now, when they ask, they're just reminding me that I am ill. And I feel okay. Between the asks, I am okay. At peace. The animals. Man, the animals. I look at this jar of pills and it's keeping me going and all I can see is the animals in the laboratories. It's like the whole of what is happening is my fault for me just to live. Why is it nobody else can deal with this? It's my problem. I'm handling it my way and everybody else is falling apart. Mother's on her knees talking to her invisible friend half the time. Work feels as though they've already had the whip round for the wreath. I'm a survivor. Can't they see that? I have strength. By his stripes we are healed. 
Thank you very much. But that isn't what the tests say. The vicar came round Tuesday. I pretended I was out. The guys made me an amulet. We had a ceremony and everything. And the group balanced my chakras. They said my aura was off colour. So we had a meditate where I walked into a rainbow and I felt great after. When they're all out, I sit in the sun and play bark on the piano. It's like a holiday. On the allotment, it's just me and my veg. No problems, no questions. Me and the veg and the birds. No more, OK? This is a bad phase. Difficult. Painful. I tell myself, it is the scheme of things. It comes, it goes, it will pass. It brings it home to you when you go through a bad patch. Just how ill you potentially are. This is bad. This is so bad. I need to be centred. Centred. Calm. Calm. I wonder how long it will last. But there is no point wondering. It will last as long as it lasts. And then it will not. It will last as long as it will last. When my mam was ill, there was this woman. On the ward, like. An old woman. And I was visiting mam, and this woman came over, and she was shining like a lighthouse. Like she'd just had the best news in the world. And you know what she said? You could have knocked me down with a feather. She sat down on mam's bed, and she said, I'm going to see Jesus. They've just told me. Three weeks. Three weeks till I see my Jesus. And she was smiling like Christmas. I didn't believe then, but I thought, either she's daft, or she's got something I want. To be going out like that, well. I met her the other day. I don't know her name. I'm just going to call her Serenity. But she's got what I've got too. But she's at peace with it. She said, the same sun shines on all of us. Family? Yes, of course I worry about the family. How they'll cope if things get worse. Julia, my daughter, has family of her own. I don't know what she's been telling them. Jason, he's only five, came up to me the other day and said, Nana, if you die, will you come back, please, as a guinea pig, because I want one. Mother says Julia will boil in hell, but that's just down to the men in frocks. Why can't they see reason? This lad came up to me at the meeting, said he'd got it too, and how do I cope? How do I cope? How does anyone cope? I said, what do you believe in? he said, what? Well, I said, some people believe in science, and some people believe in God, and other people, well, who knows what they believe in. And he said, so you believe in God? And I had to think for a bit, because it's been rough, and it hits you. But in the end, I said, I, I lad, I do, and I realised I was smiling. Power over life and death. It's funny, isn't it? How many people just can't say it, the name of what we've got? Some religions can't mention the name of God. I'm going to start saying it. I'm not going to let it have power over my life and death. I'm not going to let it be God. Where do we go? Back to the earth. Where do we go? A new start. Where do we go? The best place ever. Where do we go? 
out like a light. Whatever you choose to believe, whatever you choose not to believe, there is no right and wrong, only respect for everyone. Whatever they choose to believe, whatever they choose not to believe. <laughs>